So I'm standing on the Taylor slope just above the Alpine Meadow we just were in, and I'm standing next to the the species after which this ecosystem is named mountain heather and this is probably pink mountain heather phyllodoche species with some daisy in there um, it's worth mentioning that uh, heather has the characteristics that allow it to thrive uh, in this ecosystem it's evergreen which means that it never loses all of its leaves it simply gets covered by snow uh, and then when that snow melts its leaves are out it's ready to photosynthesize. And that's a great adaptation for this environment where growing seasons are short uh, and you need to maximize the time in which you're able to capture sunlight. Some of the other sort of characteristics of alpine ecosystems uh, reflect the environment they live in. Um, they're very low in stature and that's really an adaptation that helps them to avoid uh, open expanses where snow crystals might become deadly. Um, but it also helps them to deal with extremes of temperature. So alpine ecosystems are characterized by uh, temperature extremes from not just summer and winter, but also day and night. At night, conditions really cool off. It's a function of the thinner atmosphere at these high altitudes, uh, which prevents heat or thermal infrared radi radiation from being trapped and held near the surface. And so being low growing and small in stature allows you actually to capture heat um, at the ground that's being radiated back. Um, and, and it's a really important adaptation. Cushion plants such as moss campion are common in alpine and arctic tundra. Their cluster of tightly packed branch tips near the ground insulates against extremes of cold and wind. And so the cushion forming adaptation is so effective that it's actually evolved independently in many different tundra ecosystems throughout the world. And the evolutionary process by which unrelated taxa evolved the same adaptation under similar environmental conditions is called convergent evolution or convergence. Just thinking about moss campion, this member of the carnation family is actually very widespread across alpine and arctic ecosystems. So here it is in the Chilcotin Mountains, I've also seen it in the high Arctic in the True Love Lowland on Devon Island near Greenland. And I photographed silene species looking very similar to this one in the Karakoram Himalayas of northern Pakistan. Now, just note that the cushion forms over many years, often over a decade, as branches recruit around a single taproot that grew from an initial seed many years before.